Welcome. My name is Mary Charlson. Today we're going to talk about gender intelligent marketing. We sourced data from both American and Canadian research, as well as research my own company did through Polera. Women approach technology in a different way. Women tend to take technology and break it down almost like an appliance to its lowest common denominator. What does it do for me? How does that benefit me? Anything extra, I'm not interested. For women, decision making takes time. It's informed and deliberate. Most women we talked to said that they consulted at least three sources when they were making a large decision. Talk to friends, their personal board of directors. Women talk, they consult their peers. The internet was another huge one. Women use the internet a lot for research. So you need to think about that when you're looking at your website and how women may be using it as an information tool. Women and men use information in different ways. Women tend to integrate information and experiences from many sources to make their decisions. Whereas the guys tend to eliminate data to make an informed objective decision. Often this takes less time and seems a lot more decisive. Oh, we're getting a head nod from one of our men. <laughs> it's, it's not that either is better or either is right. It's that you need to respect the differences. Realistic clothing, clothing sizes. This is what I love. The average clothing size for a woman in Canada is, guess what? 12. Okay, what's with the vanity size twos and fours? Baby boomer women look at that and they just say, it's not realistic, doesn't speak to me. 